God who unites those who dwell in his house, he himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house and there he was working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my ha hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. response to your psalm. <clears throat> Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose God is the help of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul, 
I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed, Blessed is he whose help, help is, is the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. Put not your trust in princess, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. A few months ago, I came across something in the writings of St. Bernard of Clairvaux that I think is a great introduction to, to, the, to what the Lord is saying to us today in the Mass. And in one of his um, canticles on the Song of Songs, he has this phrase about he's meditating on grace and truth. And he says, Lord, Come to me as truth. Show me the areas of my life, my heart, so that I will not hide from you as the judge, that truthful judge who will show us all that is true. In other words, even those things about our life that are false, things that are sinful, things that, that he wants to heal. But he says, when you come as truth, come also as grace, so that I will not want to hide from you. Because sometimes we can have this tension between the justice and truth of God and His love and His mercy. But as St. Therese would say, they're two sides of the same coin. They work together to free us. So truth, that 
I will see that I am in need of a Savior. I need salvation. And grace that I will, will not want to hide from Him. That I will trust in Him. And this comes to the readings today because from the very beginning of the Mass, we have the Collect, the opening prayer of the Mass. And it's speaking boldly about those who put their hope in God will be protected, that He will see through. Again, we see that in the first re reading with the potter's clay, and even in the psalm. And then in the Gospel, we have this bold, sober awakening that the soul could be lost, that in the Kingdom of God, those gathered, that when the angels appear, there will be a separation of the wicked from the just. So the sober thought that we could lose our salvation, but that has to be seen with, with bold hope. Because hope is, is real, and it's, it's hope to be saved, which means it's a deliverance from evil, a deliverance from our sin. And the message is very bold in Jeremiah's Gospel. It's so hopeful. Because even though we are aware of our sinfulness, we're called to be people of hope and faith and love. But what is hope? The Catechism says hope is our complete faith in God, who is all-powerful to bring us to salvation. That is our hope. The Psalm says, do not put your trust in princes. What are the princes? It could be, you know, where we put our love. We could put it into, we could put it into technology, into science, into economics, into politics. We could put it into human relationships, to, to, to married love, to friendship love, to fraternities. All these things are not bad. They, they can be good when ordered to God. But our hope is not in any of these things. Our hope is in God is in what He could do. Our faith is in Him, in His power, to, to bring us to salvation. And so in that sense, we're, we're not r walking around with any kind of anxiety about the judge, because our hope is in His power. And that means, though, that we have that truth, like St. Bernard says, that, that I'm repentant, that I'm constantly turning to Him, the one who can come with grace, the one who, who, will, who has all the power to bring me to heaven. And so recently I've been reading a lot on St. Therese of Lisieux, and her weaknesses, her frailties, they don't scare her, they do the opposite. It, it allows her to throw herself even further into the Father's hands, into His arms, with, with that boldness, that trust and that hope in Him, that she knows yes, that left to herself alone, she, she's infinitely far from God. But with him, with a repentant heart, God can fashion her, like in that first reading we see. It's a beautiful reading about the potter's clay, because it's saying that even though it, it was molded wrong, in the hands of God, it can be made afresh, it can be remolded. And so this is this hope. And it also really calls us that the boldness of our hope is really also on a real understanding of God's providence and about, about the way that He shapes our life, the way the events of life come to us, the way trials come to us, the way even joys come to us. But again, that unshakable trust in Him, that He is all-powerful to shape us into the people that He wants us to be. Even when we can't see, you know, spiritual life sometimes is complicated. There's so many things we're struggling with and, and that we feel that uh, we're, every day is a challenge. But if we keep that hope on Him, then we can walk with peace, with courage, in a serene way, in a, in a calm way, just trusting in Him, not putting the hope in ourselves, because He's the Savior. So it's... The whole Christian life is responding to His grace by, by being repentant, by constantly seeking that attitude of repentance. So when those angels do appear, we will not be 
torn from, from, from all those in the light, that we will be gathered up and brought to him. And that is a real hope. That, that's not presumption. Presumption would be, I can do whatever I want, I can sin whatever I want, and I'm going to go to heaven. No, hope is, I know I'm a sinner, I know I fail, but my heart is constantly seeking him. And we could be calm with that because he will mold us, he will shape us. He is powerful, as I said in the beginning, to bring us to salvation. He knows how to do it. He's God. He made us in the first time, the first clay. <laughs> so, and we, we, you know, a measure of our wholeness is our hope as well. And that's why sometimes it has to get tried and tested. God sends us situations that, that seem impossible, but that's when he's stretching our hope. That's when he's saying, are you really trusting in princes? Or do you trust in me? Are you trusting in your dreams and your visions and your plans? Or do you walk by faith that he sees, that he's doing? And that's hard. But that's, that's the Christian walk, to walk by him. He sees, he knows, he's all-powerful. And that's our hope. He, and he loves us. And of course, he loves us. Love made visible on the cross. He gave everything to bring us to himself. Everything. We will receive everything in the Mass in His Son. The Father will come to us through His Son with the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is a source of major hope, the sanctification of receiving the bread of life to help us against our sins, our, our frailties. And so we thank the Lord for that great gift that our hope is on Him. As the psalm says, blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. God helps us. That's our hope. We gather now and we lift our prayers and hope to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for the Church, that she may proclaim the Gospel in all its fullness, in its grace and its truth, a grace that transforms lives and a truth that comes with love and mercy. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who have lost hope in life, that they might rediscover God's plan for them, in the crucified and risen one, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Eucharistic revival that we're in, that we too, in our various ways, will be agents of Eucharistic revival, helping others see the richness of the, the treasure we have in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Maria Vision, all her viewers, and that the Holy Spirit may draw a people to tune in and draw their hearts as they do so and receive an illumination from the Lord about his great love for them and the hope they have in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Dominican House of Prayer retreat this weekend, that it will be very spiritually fruitful, that people will come to a new fullness in their relationship with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all the needs that you carry in your hearts, all the prayers entrusted to you, needs of your family, your friends. Let us, for these things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for uh, this, this great city, Ave Maria, all that happens here in this university, in the church, in the parishes, and everything else. 
uh, that it may uh, be a, a shining example in our day, a city set on a hill that draws many to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. And for the prayers we mention in silence. For all our prayers, those spoken and those we can't quite put into words, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our beloved dead. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We gather up all these prayers as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the very grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all souls of the Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for though you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. 
and so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. And holy, 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 O Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have saved Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dominic, St. Catherine of Siena, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. May the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Me seré no be. Lamb of God, you take away. Agnus Deus, you 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Surrender 
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen.